my friend comes up to me and was like, are you watching TV? I said, no, you know I don't watch TV. He said, well, the president is on TV giving out commutations and pardons. So I went to the phone, called my lawyer, and my lawyer said, did you hear anything? And, and I said, no, I heard he's on TV giving out pardons and commutations. And she said, your name is on that list, and you'll be home within 30 days. And that was November the 24th, 2008, and I came home December the 22nd, 2008, right before, uh, right before Christmas and, and New Year's. When you come from a situation where you don't really have money, it's, it's very, very easy to go back to that situation of not having money because you, you were never of the ethos of preserving that, uh, that, that, that wealth. So it's very, very easy to, to run through it. And that's a, that is actually what happened with me. So when I got dropped from Sony after you know, a lackluster commercial release of, of my solo um, debut album, which was uh, Poli Sci, Instead of me looking at myself and turning the mirror and saying, what could I have done better? Uh, could I have produced it you know, better? Could I have written better? I blamed everyone else around me. So it was no surprise when Sony came back and said, you know what, you're dropped. Go get it on your own. So I didn't have the means to, 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 to go do it on my own. And then the universe showed me an opportunity. And that was to involve myself in, in this criminal enterprise. It's actually, there's a legal term for what I did, and it's called willful blindness. When you know something's happening, but you don't really know what's happening, because, well, if I don't really know what's happening, well, then I can't be held completely accountable for it. At least that, that's my justification. And if the house of cards should ever fall, I'll say, hey, I'm a rapper. Everybody knows that. I'm John Forte, the rapper, you know, and, and this, is what, this is what I thought until the house of cards did fall. And one of the first things that the judge said to the jury was, willful blindness is not an acceptable defense. Someone can't take the stand up here and say, I suspected something was happening, but because I didn't know, or I, 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 I profess not to know the full details of what was happening, that doesn't somehow um, count as, as exculpatory evidence to, to make them less culpable and innocent of, of crimes being committed. It also didn't help that everyone on my case ended up testifying against me. And, you know, I ended up getting 168 months, which was the, 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 the largest of, of the sentences of, of everybody who was on my case. And, you know, that didn't help. You know, I went right in the population. And, and I guess you have a choice if you have some celebrity of, well, do you want to be in population? Do you fear for your safety? For me, it was like a no-brainer. Like, I'm going in the population. This is, this is the, the, the hand that I've been dealt, so I went right in. And I think it was twofold. Um, you know, part of it was the fact that, yeah, I had some celebrity attached with my name, but then uh, another part of it was that I was an out-of-towner uh, because I fell in Houston, Texas. So I'm from New York, and I had not even, you know, my, my case was in Texas. So when I went in, it wasn't like I was going into a New York system. I went into a, a, a Houston, Texas system. You know, initially for me, I turned my back on, on music when I went away because I didn't want to be that guy who showed up inside and just to talk about, you know, my past. For me, I wanted to fight. Uh, I wanted to learn about the law, and I wanted to, um, to do what I could to make my situation better because it was a living hell, you know, being there, being away from, from, from your loved ones. And, and, and it was, you know, it wasn't easy. Some days were better than others, but, um, but it wasn't easy. So um, for me, I had to get grounded in words, and, and part of that was the law. But then another part of that was reacclimating myself with, uh, with, with my education. And even though I didn't have a formal education in, in prison initially, it was about me re-educating and reprogramming myself uh, individually, not waiting for the system to reform and rehabilitate me, but, but learning how to do for myself.